What is going on guys and welcome back to another very exciting video. In this video, we are going to be talking about one of my top holdings and that is Alibaba stock and we're going to talk about its earnings. It has earnings that it's going to report in a little less than a month and we are going to talk about what has shifted in China and how this could affect those earnings and the earnings going forward over the next year, two years, three years and we're going to take a look at some of the numbers behind these earnings and where that could lead the stock price in the future. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like down below and if you want to see more videos like this one make sure you hit that sub button let's start off by taking a look at alibaba's chart so we can see here today the stock was down almost two percent and what's very interesting is if you look at the s p 500 it was up about a quarter percent so there was kind of a 50 50 split on the stock market today where half the companies were going up and half the companies were going down and we've kind of talked about earnings and how it's kind of affected some of that movement check out the last video if you haven't already we go into a little bit more of that but what i think is going on with alibaba is if we zoom out a month we could see there's a some people that were probably buying back in the range, you know, of 90 to hundred dollars. And I think there's probably some people taking gains on this stock. The stock has ran up 35% over the last month. So there's been a huge upward move. And I think we're starting to see some of those people shift their portfolios around, right? A lot of people who probably got in, you know, back in the nineties, they're probably selling out and shifting some of their portfolio to safer stocks like Google, like Microsoft, like Apple, uh, that are, you know, we saw a little bit more of a run up here today. So, overall that's my opinion on it but if you zoom out to a year we can see actually the stock is finally up it's up over two and a half percent over the last year and we've talked about this again in previous videos but right now we're hitting kind of that support and resistance of around 120 and i think we're going to need another catalyst before we actually break above that alibaba right now is projected to report their earnings on february 23rd of 2023 so again that's a little less than a month away and the reason i say projected is right now alibaba hasn't formally came out and announced when they are going to announce their earnings. So what that means is, again, this number is just basically pulled from previous years. Alibaba has reported around this February 23rd number. So maybe it's going to be the 20th, maybe it's going to be the 25th, but somewhere around kind of that time frame, that date is when Alibaba is expected to report their earnings. For this quarter, Alibaba is projected to announce an earnings of $1.86 with a high estimate of $2.27 and a low estimate of $1.48. But what's very interesting is if we look at last year, they announced somewhere around $2.22 for their EPS. So that's a lot closer to this high forecasted number. So what would be really good out of these earnings is if we can see Alibaba come in somewhere closer to that 230 to 245 for their EPS. That would be huge and have uh, you know a lot of effects on the stock price in general uh, because again, they would be beating a lot of these consensuses in a very meaningful way. The other thing to note is where earnings are projected to come at over the next few years. And we can see here for this year, uh, this fiscal year, they're projected to be in at $5.91 for next fiscal year, $6.78. And then for 2025, $8.16. But what's very interesting is this high estimate for 2024. So the high estimate is $8.21. And personally, I don't think that's out of the realm of possibility. I think if we see some of those things that we're going to discuss here in a minute start coming to fruition, we start seeing China open in a very massive way, we could see their EPS jump up in a very significant way over the next year. There are two major catalysts that are going to affect Alibaba over the next year. The first is fintech crackdown from the Chinese government. So China over the last couple of years has imposed a lot of fines and regulations against their tech industry, and that is seeming to subside. We're seeing a lot of indications that China is starting to change their policy, rotate and pivot away from a policy of cracking down on a lot of big tech and basically take a new position of, okay, tech is allowed to grow and allowed to grow along with China as long as it's benefiting you know, the Chinese Chinese people in general. So we've seen GDP growth fall off in China over the last year or so, and the Chinese government is looking at that and saying, how do we get that back on track? Well, we get that back on track by helping tech grow within China. So what we are seeing here is also another quote from the Communist Party boss at the People's Bank of China. He says, the crackdown on fintech operations of more than a dozen internet companies is basically over. So again, that is a big quote, and we're seeing a number of these quotes coming out of China from important people within their system that are kind of indicating all of the same thing, that China is starting to pivot away from a lot of those policies. The second big catalyst out of China is their zero pandemic policy. So this policy over the last year or so has really hurt China. It's hurt its GDP growth, it's hurt its economy in general, and it's hurt its people. And we've seen that from a number of protests coming up, a lot of people standing up against this policy and basically fighting back against 
against the Chinese government. And the Chinese government has finally, you know, taken sides and decided that, hey, this position or this policy is not working for the betterment of the people. It's not working for the betterment of the economy within China. So they're starting to pivot away from that. Early on, and we talked about this maybe three or four months ago, there were rumors coming out that China was going to look to fully reopen around March of this year. Uh, and I think that's kind of sped up a little bit as well as people have, you know, basically had riots in the streets throughout China. So we're starting to see, again, a shift in policy there where we'll start seeing a lot of these cities open up and stay open for longer periods of time. Uh, and this will allow, again, their economy to get back on track. We've seen a lot of their GDP, you know, be beaten down over the last year or so. And right now, people are actually projecting five to 6% GDP growth now uh, in 2023 for China. So that is going to be huge for them to get back on track and get back to growth. And if we see numbers start coming in higher than that five to 6%, that again will bode positively for Alibaba and its stock price. Over the last month, we've seen the stock run up by over 35%, which is absolutely insane. So what that has done to the PE ratio is brought it up as well. So again, a few months ago, back in September, we were trading at a 10.33 forward PE ratio. And now we are trading around a 13.42. In my opinion, this is still significantly undervalued for Alibaba, right? These earnings that this is being weighted against are low earnings for Alibaba. That's one thing to keep in mind. The second thing to keep in mind is Alibaba in the past has traded anywhere from a 30 to 35 P ratio when it's been valued, you know, in a very significant way. But in a relatively, you know, safe basis, you could value it from a 20 to 25. That's fairly typical of the market to value a lot of companies, you know, in a 20 to 25 range, as long as it has some growth in front of it. And Alibaba has plenty of growth to account for a 20 to 25 forward P ratio. And what we can do is we can take Alibaba's current share price, their current forward P ratio, and basically throw in a potential forward P ratio. So the potential forward P ratio that we have in here is 15, which again is very low in my opinion. I think Alibaba being valued at a 15 with the amount of growth that they have in front of them is fairly disrespectful to be honest. But you know, just to be conservative, we could see where that number will come out to be. And if we, if Alibaba were to trade up to a 15 P ratio, we would see the stock price go to $132.32, which would be almost a 12% move. And that would be, you know, I think easily achievable over the next year. But more of a fair valuation would actually be closer to this 20 forward P ratio. So if we see Alibaba trade up to a 20 forward P ratio, we would actually see the stock price go to $176.42. And that's where I think Alibaba actually starts getting fair valued. I think around $175 is where we're starting to see Alibaba valued in a very fair manner across the market. And that would be almost a 50% upward move. But what's very interesting is if we zoom out again and we say Alibaba, like we talked about, in all honesty, because of the amount of growth that they have, they should be trading anywhere from a 20 to 25. So if we plug in a 25 forward P ratio here, we can see that the stock actually jumps up to $220.53. So that is an 85% move up from where they Alibaba is currently trading. So again, I don't think that's out of the realm of possibility. I think anywhere from 175 is really that, that start of the fair valuation range. And then anywhere around 210 to $220, that's where you start getting to, you know, that slightly higher uh, fair valuation. But I think once you get to, you know, like a 30 forward P ratio, I think that's Alibaba getting, you know, starting to get overvalued. So again, those are all my opinions, but based off historical values, you know, that's kind of where we've seen Alibaba trade in the past. So overall, we have seen a monster amount of growth over the last month, right? A 35% upward move from Alibaba stock. And really, in my opinion, I think that's just the start. I think we're starting to see investors, you know, become interested in Alibaba and Chinese companies in general. There's been a lot of, you know, speculation about if these Chinese firms were going to get delisted. We've seen that go away with these audits coming through and some of the results of the audits. And overall, you know, now we're just focused on Alibaba as a business and getting back to the growth that we've seen and the Chinese government, you know, continue to pull back some of their regulations against these businesses. And I think over the next couple of years, if we continue to see, you know, some uh, cooperation between the U.S. and China on audits and we see these businesses continue to grow, I think we'll start seeing the stock price show that in a very significant way. We can zoom out five years and we could see, you know, at one point Alibaba was over $300 for its share price. So I don't think it's unreasonable. The business has obviously gone through a, a slump over the last year or so, but a lot of that has been on the back 
back of you know these regulations that have been put in place by the Chinese government and you know their zero pandemic policy. So as those kind of shift away and you know become obsolete, I think Alibaba could you know definitely get back to some of those price targets we talked about around you know 200 to 175. I think that's definitely within the realm of possibility. So again, keep in mind that's all my opinion. I am just some random guy on YouTube. So do your own research. Make sure you are looking into companies and understand the risks that are associated with them and also the upside that's associated with them. But if you enjoy the video, make sure you drop a like down below. And if you want to see more videos like this one, make sure you hit that sub button. And as always, guys, have a wonderful rest of your day.